Welcome back. The top-ranked Dakota Valley Panthers have kept their title defense intact as a win here tonight would give DV back-to-back -back championships. But in their way is number three, Sioux Falls Christian. Top-seeded Panthers pursuing back-to-back -back titles and perfect seasons, looking to cement their mark as one of the best teams in state history. Third-seeded Sioux Falls Christian, their last hurdle to clear. It'd be a battle trailing early 9-7. Isaac Brunson, a turnaround, Jay, no good, but Jackson Wingert right there for the up-and-under putback. Wingert would be huge for them tonight. Moments later, all tied up now. Randy Rosenquist to Sam Cleese. The coach's son beyond the arc. Sky high bounce off the back iron and in. Senior gets the roll of his life. DV in front, 12-9. Charter staying in step with them. Bretton Mulder running the floor. Feeds Cole Snyder, who's finishing through contact off the window. As if Christian came to play, they led 13-12 after one. Momentum staying on their side in the second. Ball dropping to Ethan Bruns down low, who finishes 4-2. 6-0 run for Sioux Falls Christian. They lead it 26-21. DV going to their main man to stop the bleeding, though. Bruns on the block, buries the short jumper. Panthers trailing 26-24 into halftime. Could they muster up some second-half magic like yesterday? Sioux Falls Christian thinking otherwise. Ethan Bruns with a smooth step back. Dakota Valley coming right back down for a bucket of their own. This time it's Isaac Bruns with a nice move of his own. Panthers tie it up heading into the fourth quarter. DV. Gaining momentum in the final frame. First shot off is here, but you got to check out the play and check out the hustle from Jackson Wingert. He stays with it and finishes for the huge bucket, capping off a strong fourth quarter as Dakota Valley caps off their second consecutive undefeated season by defending their title and a 54-48 win over Sioux Falls Christian. The Panthers certainly cementing themselves as statistically one of the best teams the state has seen with back-to-back -back state titles while keeping their undefeated streak intact. A hard-fought win in the title game that's filled with memories that'll last a lifetime. We're winners. We're, we've been competing with each other, backyard, driveway, on the court since day one. We know what it feels like to lose. We know what it feels like to win. So just the heart that this team has is unbelievable, unmatchable. So it's, it's a great team to be a part of. So much fun. Best two years of my life. And I couldn't ask for anything better. We worked super hard just to get here. Hard, even that second round against T. We didn't know we were, after that first half. We were just exhausted, but we kept fighting, and I mean, it says it all right here. I just, I'm just so proud of my guys. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. Uh, and uh, I was balling there three or four times, and it's uh, maybe I'm just a crybaby. I don't know, but it was, it was super fun. The Elk Point Jefferson Huskies took part in the SDHSAA State Basketball Tournament third place game. They fell to number five Hamlin, 53 to 40. Easton Kemp. Scored a game high 19 points in the loss. Despite the result, a great season for the Huskies community as Elk Point Jefferson made their first state tournament in 13 years.